Hey, so uh, ranked is kind of f***ed up right now. Listen, ranked in League of Legends has notoriously always been one of the worst experiences for anyone playing this game, and also just in general. It is constantly full of try-hard, sweaty, toxic, angry individuals, and the only reason people play ranked in the first place is just for the competitiveness and to win, which is already only 50% of the time if you're lucky. In other words, people spend hours playing ranked for a 50% chance of a dopamine rush including me, but that's besides the point. <clears throat> the point is that ranked is objectively miserable, but apparently it can get even worse like right now, for example. For at least two different separate reasons, ranked might be in the worst spot it has ever been, and that's saying something. And the worst part about this is that no one is even talking about it. Reason number one, ranked placements. So I don't know how or why, but for some reason or another, new accounts and new players who are trying out ranked for the very first time are being thrown into plat and emerald level ranked games. It not even in their fourth or fifth placement game, but in their very first one, which as you can imagine is just not great for anyone. Right off the bat, new players are forced to play against some of the best players in the game. Okay, not the actual best players in the game, but a lot of people don't know that plat 4 is still in the top 35% of players. So. Either way, new players are getting bent over. And like I said, some games they're even starting versus Emerald players, which is in the top 16%. So oh, yeah, again, that's just not great. It's like if a tiny middle school child wanted to play in his very first basketball tournament, only for the organizer to chuck him in in the D1 college bracket for the first game. What could possibly go wrong? On the flip side of things, people who are actually Platinum Emerald now get stuck with those new players on their team, and we all know what it feels like when we get terrible teammates. Now, even though it's not their fault at all, we also know that those new players are 1000% going to get flamed reported and basically the entire classic League of Legends experience because, well, they're gonna suck. And honestly, the thing is, I can't really even blame the Platinum Emerald players for being pissed because if someone like that ended up on my team, I'd probably just think they were straight up trolling or at least until I looked up their account and saw they were brand new. And even then, they're still probably gonna get reported because, you know, league. It's just such a lose-lose situation because it's not really anyone's fault, but still everyone is just miserable. And some may argue that it eventually balances itself out because both sides will likely get new players at some point on their team, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of, you know, playing rank to show off your skill. You might as well just go flip a coin to save yourself some time. And when you think about it, it doesn't just stop with the placement games either, because after each new player gets smacked and cyberbullied in their placements, they then have to go play as many games as it takes until they hit the rank they actually belong in. And if they really really are new, that's probably bronze or iron, so we're talking a lot of lost games and a lot of pissed League of Legends players, more than usual. Now crazy enough, this is just the start to this whole ridiculous mess. To add on to all this, there's an entire another group of people out there dedicated to purposely being bad and farming iron 4 accounts. I made a video on this a year ago explaining the whole situation, which by the way you should go check out for context, because the sad reality is literally nothing has changed between now and then, so everything in that video is still relevant. And I guess that's not 100% true, because things have changed, they've actually gotten worse. But long story short, in case you didn't know, Iron 4 accounts are actually worth a lot of money because people like to smurf and go on win streaks. The lower the rank in MMR on an account is, the longer you can go on a win streak for. Because of this, some Iron accounts can actually sell for hundreds of dollars depending on how trashed their MMR is, so a lot of people go as far as setting up bots to lose as many games as possible in order to trash the rank and MMR as much as possible. It's been a whole thing, but the biggest takeaway now as opposed to back then is it's starting to spread more into high elo games. Before it was mostly a low elo issue, and by low elo I mean iron and bronze, since most new accounts before wouldn't start as high. But now since these new accounts have the ability to be placed a lot higher in rank right off the bat, it gives these bot accounts more of an opportunity to trash their MMR, which is exactly what they're doing. Ironically, I even said in my other video that one day this could be a problem for everyone in the future, not just low elo, and sadly, here we are. The league obviously, as we just discussed, has an issue of placing new players in rank games that they don't belong in right off the bat regardless. But in case you didn't know, you can also improve these chances of starting at a higher rank even further by performing better in bot games or normal games prior to playing your first rank games. This was a change that was made a while ago in order to help prevent smurfing, but ironically, people are now using this to their advantage to in the long run create a different kind of smurfing account, the Iron 4 smurfing account, which is arguably way worse, but anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. This of course is the exact strategy that a lot of them are abusing, which is doing as well as possible in the games prior to playing rank to get placed as high as possible right off the bat. I mean, take this account for example. Just look at the match history from the intro bot games. 
It's pretty obvious that this is a smurf even though it's a bot game. They clearly know what they're doing. And they're consistently playing ADCs during the bot games, which as you'll see later is a common trend with these accounts. And if you're still not convinced for some reason, look what happens right when he plays his first ranked game. Instead of playing ADCs, he randomly decides to switch to Annie. And because he played so well in the bot games, League thinks he deserves to start at least in mid to high plat. Little does League know that he's an iron account farmer, so he's trying to lose as much as he can all the way down to iron four. I mean, look at this. This dude has a 5% win rate, and not once did he ever touch his ADC picks ever again. And then there's this account too. Same idea, does really well playing ADCs in the intro bot games, and then his first ranked game decides to play Diana Jungle. And not only that, but ends a 30 minute game with 77 CS. Interesting. After that, he coincidentally proceeds to lose a lot, specifically 60 games all the way down to Iron 4. I will say it actually looks like these Iron 4 farmers are manually playing most of the games as I don't think bots can CS as well and itemize quite as well as them. So I'm assuming that these are probably the more expensive Iron accounts because they have less of a chance of being banned and probably also have worse MMR. But don't be mistaken because the Iron 4 bot farms still do exist on top of this, like this account for example. As you can see, this is one of the old bots where mostly Yumi is played and then during the game they do absolutely nothing. But anyways, back to the manually run Iron 4 accounts where when you think about it, this one account by itself managed to ruin 240 people's ranked games. And that's just counting the people who had to have it as a teammate. And if you count the other team as well, that's 540 people. And imagine how many of these bot accounts like this are out there. It's crazy to think how many of these games that we play are already sabotaged from the start. But do you want to know what the saddest part about all of this is? Is that some of these accounts like this one, even after losing 20 games, is still Silver 2, which is still probably a higher rank than what a lot of players replaced in this season from playing on their main accounts. I mean, how demoralizing is that? These guys run it down for 20 games and they're still ranked higher than you. But meanwhile, you're over there getting placed Bronze 1 for the start of the season, gaining barely any LP per win. It's also just realizing that that gold rank you've been trying to achieve for years or even plat rank that you spend hundreds of hours in games grinding towards every season could be accomplished by playing just a few intro bot games. Kind of crazy. Anyways, while this all sucks a lot, it gets even worse, which brings me into reason number two. So there's a guy or group who's intentionally making hundreds of accounts and having them run it down in people's ranked games. Not to sell, not to make money, but for no other reason than for what he claims to be a protest. So what happens when you're lucky enough to get one of these things on your team in Champion Select is they'll send you this message which says they're protesting pings, chats, and dodge changes, and also people inting, among other things. Now League admittedly has a lot wrong with the game. That's just any game. Any game is going to have something wrong with it. Except for Halo Reach, that game was fucking sick. And listen, I'm all for protests. Protests can be great. A lot of positive change can come from protests. But this isn't protesting, this is the definition of stupidity. He's trying to protest against Riot and League by doing the thing that he's fighting against. That's like being vegan and protesting how bad it is to eat meat by eating as much meat as he possibly can. Or protesting polluting our ocean by dumping as much plastic into the ocean as possible. All the way until people start noticing how much plastic is out there. I mean, how stupid can you be? It's crazy to think that people like this actually exist in the world. Anyways, his whole thing, as you saw earlier, is right when you join a lobby, he sends this interesting warning to people that they're about to have a miserable game. Where he also includes a Discord link, but I'll get into that later. And afterwards, if nobody dodges, the game will start and you'll be placed with a bot almost identical to those Iron 4 ranked count bots. Which in case if you forgot, they're completely useless. Unless you want a Yumi that does nothing but buy boots and a chain vest. However, unlike Iron Bot Farms, this guy doesn't care about getting iron four and instead runs it down in every single elo even sneaky and tyler one had a run in with one of these bots what the hell yesterday started off weird too because the very first game of the day we were playing against an, an actual ai like an actual ai player a, a complete robot an ai enemy jungler i didn't even know those existed but yeah this this player right here apparently it's it was it's an account that is just what the by the way Wait, how lucky did we actually get it? He went 1 in 24. Wait, he was never banned. Wait, what the? F we played with him right here. Dude, that's the crazy part. Imagine if if we coin flipped him on our team. We never would have known because you can't see people in champs. Like, look at this, bro. The crazy part. Nobody in that in any of these games knew that they were getting griefed unless they used lobby reveal because, champ because names are hidden in champ select. But this guy was never punt Like... So this guy was just able to get into game without anybody. Look at this shit. He lost 24 games in a row. Holy shit. 
They have got to do something, bro. That is crazy. I mean, the funny thing is, Tyler is 100% right. Between the Iron 4 bots, the Iron 4 farmers, and the so-called protesters, Loser's Q might actually exist. I mean, Riot may not intentionally be giving you bad teammates, but what if you got three of these bots in a row? In that sense, you are 100% in Loser's Q, and maybe when you get three of them on the other team, it's Winner's Q. It may not be as much of a conspiracy as people think. Anyways, the craziest thing is this guy streams all of this live on Twitch. Each of those little boxes are different games that are currently taking place. He even set up a system where you can interact with those bots, which if this wasn't insane, I'd be slightly impressed. Nevertheless, this guy is interesting to say the least. What's also insane are the stats on just one account. If you look closely in the bottom right, you can see that this one account has forced 6,584 accounts to dodge. And that's just the dodges. It doesn't mention how many games actually went through. And if that's just one account, I can't even imagine how many games this guy has ruined total in his so-called protest. Maybe you're thinking that these are just reruns he's streaming? Well, I actually had the absolute pleasure of running into one of these accounts completely unintentionally and I can 100% confirm that all of these games are live because I could even see myself on the screen while I was played. I will say luckily as of a few days ago, Twitch actually banned his account so at least some progress is being made. Also remember that Discord link he dropped before? Well, that was also equally as interesting. First off, upon joining the server, you were introduced to this weird trailer that said in season 13 and then they had an entire chat dedicated to the chat logs from the games they were botting in lastly as if things couldn't get any worse they also had a chat dedicated to holding people hostage in ranked games for hours with the sole purpose and goal of getting them reported and banned which again is so insane it specifically says this is the start of hashtag eliminated filth get banned and noobs channel and it continues on to say these people were taken hostage abused in game spawn killed reported and finally banned for intentionally feeding right games thank you for your improved ban system ha 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 dude <laughs> I, I'm actually speechless. Like, I can't believe people like this exist in this game. Okay, I can kind of believe it, but still, this is freaking insane. Anyways, this is getting to be a pretty big problem because let's do the math real quick. Last I checked, there's about 200 members in the Discord and maybe 50 of them were certified trolls. And as you can see in the top right, there were 26 here, but those were just the ones online at the time of the recording. I'd go back and confirm, but unfortunately I got kicked out for some reason. Anyways, assuming that these trolls ran 10 accounts at a time, which is honestly probably the bare minimum since they were literally streaming 9 or 10 and could easily be doing more off stream, and assuming each account forced a thousand dodges, which again isn't unrealistic at all considering that one account shown before was past 5,000 by itself, then that's 10,000 dodges forced per person. And with 50 trolls, that's 50,000 dodges or 50,000 people's time in LP wasted. On top of that, let's assume that 50% of the games actually went through still and weren't dodged. And let's face it, that's pretty likely considering most people probably thought the message was just your average League of Legends player being weird or whatever. So 50% went through, that would be 50,000 games that were ruined. Or if you multiply that by nine players, that's approximately 450 thousand players that have been affected so far and by the way that is lowballing it i mean that's actually insane honestly before making this video i was even debating putting him in the spotlight even more than he already is just because i didn't want to give him the extra attention but i feel like it's something that has to be addressed and something that probably should have been addressed by riot already which i know is somewhat ironic because that's also what he's been protesting but again this isn't protesting he's literally already ruined almost a half a million people's time and games and essentially just became the problem itself anyways let's talk solutions as far as solutions to placements go listen i kind of get where riot's coming from on this they're clearly stuck between a rock and a hard place on one hand if they keep things as they are it'll help avoid second account smurfs however they then leave themselves vulnerable to iron four farmers and worse iron four smurfs along with the whole issue of new players being misplaced but if they limit every new account to silver at the highest, then they have more smurfs from second account smurfs. It really is just a lose-lose situation unless iron four farmers are dealt with. But until then, you really just have to pick the lesser of two evils, and in my opinion, that means capping the rank of new accounts to silver or maybe even gold at the highest. You just can't let these iron four bot farmers in their way all the way from emerald to iron. That's a ridiculous amount of games ruined on the way down, and then back on the way up once they're smurfs. 
On top of that, you also can't have new players playing Plat and Emerald games getting slaughtered all the way down to Iron as well. Yeah, Silver players will probably have to play versus more second account smurfs more often, but at least those Silver players still have a chance at beating them. If they're playing with or against bots, it's pretty much already determined who's going to win. I mean, ideally though, Riot will just eliminate bots entirely, and as much as people hate it, Vanguard is coming soon, I believe March 6th, and it could potentially and hopefully solve the whole botting issue. Now I understand that Vanguard is kind of sketchy and sucks for a lot of different reasons like eliminating some content creators abilities to create content that Riot refused to make themselves like the winter map but if it can help eliminate the botting issue at least it'll be somewhat beneficial also until an actual solution is made I feel like Riot could at least allow players in gold and below to see their teammates summoner names during champion select the summoner name change was originally made for higher elo because it was so hard to get into a game without someone dodging but that was never really a big issue in lower elo, since there were just so many more players. But what is more common are low elo bots, and having the ability to see them and dodge them should be the bare minimum. You should also be able to submit an appeal to show that you dodged because of a bot and get your LP back. Again, this is not a permanent solution, like I shouldn't even have to be pitching these ideas in the first place, but it would be helpful until a real solution is added. Now before the video ends, I think it's important to mention that while Riot has very much dropped the ball when it comes to addressing the botting issue, and other issues. It's also important to remember that at the end of the day, it's still just a video game. So please don't go out and just find any Riot employee you see on Twitter and tear them up for this, especially since most of them don't even work in the same department that would be able to do something about it. Plus, I'm sure they already get their fair share of hate mail and death threats. With that said though, I do think it's important to continue publicizing this and shedding as much light on this issue as possible so those who can't make a difference see it, and we can eventually get some change. Because right now, this is seriously kind of ridiculous how much of an issue this is and how little it's being talked about. With that said, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Now we'll see you next time. Yo, massive shout out to my incredible patrons and supporters. We had Gooseman, Set Ryan Hagel, and a massive shout out to my tier three patrons, Stefan and Wolf. Seriously, thank you guys. Really appreciate you. All right, bye.